Echo. Turn on living light. Okay. All right, so I've shown in some of my previous videos, and I think a lot of people have set up their hue lights at this point to work with Alexa. Echo, turn off kitchen lights. Okay. All right, so that works, but sometimes it's cool to either turn them all on at the same time with one specific color, right? I think that's a, that'd be a cool feature. So there's a way to do that. Let me show you here. I'm going to turn this off first. Echo, turn off living light. Okay. All right, and I'll show you how I set this up in a moment here. So stay tuned for that. But pretty much using IFT, we can... Uh, have it turn it on with a specific color that you've uh, picked. So let me show you here. Echo, trigger black light. Sending that to it. Takes a couple seconds and there it goes, black light. Purple color lighting here. I also have it for another uh, color of regular use, uh, uh, a yellow, uh, typical, uh, you know, white, yellow kind of combination. So let's see what that looks like. And that does it for all the lights. I have some other rooms here. I'm gonna turn purple. There's another strip back there. Let's see. Echo. Trigger sunny. Sending that to it. All right. So there's sunny, bright, and everything is visible as you can see. So. You can pretty much set up any colors that you want so that they all turn on at the same time with the same color, right? It's uh, convenient when you want to maybe set the mood of the lighting, whatever you want. That's one way to do it. So I'll show you how we set that up here in a moment. All right. So before we set this up, the first thing we need to do is you're just going to search for CSS hex color values. Any website that you want should be good. This first result here I've used before, it uh, gets the job done. It's pretty simple. So you're gonna have a bar right here. Whoops. You're gonna have a bar right here that you can slide up and down for whatever color you want. So first think about the color that you're looking for. You might have to test this out a couple of times until you find the value that really works for you right so for example if I wanted to do the trigger sunny that you saw me do in the example maybe I'll start with this yellow and this is the code right here that we're looking for the CSS code right I think that's a CSS uh, color code or HTML color code so that number you're gonna copy it write it down and then once you have that you're ready to set up the if the trigger and I'll show you that here in a moment. All right, so once we have the CSS color code, we're ready to use that here in IFT. So we'll open the app, and this is the part where you make the applets, as they're called inside of IFT. So we'll start off here with Alexa, pretty simple stuff, just like I showed you in my previous videos. So we'll choose right here at the bottom say a specific phrase so in my case I said trigger sunny in the other example it was black light so whatever you want to name the specific color so the phrase is sunny I have to use the lowercase hold on we'll hit next so that is the uh, first part of it the trigger and then the action be with the hue lights we're going to change color we're going to say all of my lights or it depends in your case I have to wait for this to load here all right so there it is all lights although I could choose all the other ones but in this case I'll just I want them to all change at the same time color value or name so it also accepts different uh, names that you can uh, think of but if you want to get a little more specific that's where the CSS hex codes come in so from my previous website the code that we received was FFF 
33, four Fs and two threes, so done. Next. All right, so there it is. If I say trigger sunny, then all the colors will change to that specific color or code, right? So you can make as many as you want of these. You can have uh, one for whatever color, the ones you use the most for your lighting in this way. Uh, it's a way to uh, kind of set the scene, right? Because right now the Alexa skill for the hue apparently isn't working very well for the scene. So this is one way to get around that. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.